Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to defend against the wrath of Nelson. One of the most aggressive of the bots. So we're playing with the black pieces. So a, a standard defense would be uh, the King's Indian, where we just try and get developed. So I don't normally play this this defense. but So first, first decision we've got to make, guys. Here, does this pawn annoy us? Pawn looks a little bit annoying. So you know what we could do? We could put a pawn in the center and try and kill Nelson's attack, guys. So that's first stage against Nelson. Try and trade the queens. And now we've done that, we should be able to grind him down. So if takes, we, we can recapture either way. So if we recapture with the pawn here, we do block in our own bishop, guys. So here I like taking with a bishop. And now starting to starting to feel a little bit solid against Nelson. Whereas if the queen was on the board, you know, we might be a little bit concerned. So, I'm doing this video, guys, to my, to my long-term subscribers. I know I've already played Nelson. It's just there's a lot of um, a lot of people searching how to how to defend against Nelson and stuff on YouTube. So, I thought I'd uh, do another video on it, just just elaborating on my last one. But check out my last one if you've not seen it. So we can't castle because uh, we just took the queen, didn't we? So here, if we leave the king in the center, our king actually defends everything. And what I'm trying to just do this game, guys, is just stay as solid as possible. So this knight is pinned, which is a little bit uncomfortable. So let's just kick the bishop back. So we can't recapture with the knight, but we've got a decision here. Which pawn do we recapture with? See, so if we take this way with the d pawn, uh, our king's a little bit exposed there, maybe, for a rook to come. Uh, but if we take with this f pawn, I, I quite like that, you know, because then we've got this square available for the knight. To, to come develop and hit this this backwards pawn. Now that's a strange move because th this this was a lot of pressure. Maybe back was better, but Nelson really keen to trade here, and we're happy to get into an end game because this is how you punish Nelson, guys. He's not good in end games. He's all so all these bots are programmed differently. You know they they've got, they're good at some things, worse at others, and overall they balance out at thirteen hundred, but. Because Nelson is so good at attacking an early game with the queen, he, he's really bad in the end game. So this is what you've got to do to beat him. So, if knight here, where is this knight going to go? Hmm. But if knight here, we just, we just target this pawn directly. So Nelson defends. Now this move looks nice to try and stop them castling. But say here... Maybe this move's a bit short-sighted in light of this pawn push here. But what we can do, what we do know for certain guys in this position, um, is taking the open file it is most likely pretty good. Uh, or even getting the rook over like this. I mean, that's a bit of a bit of a maneuver there, but what can we do? Maybe here we've got doubled pawns, right? So I'm thinking, if we push, we undouble the structure, right? And then... Just got a nice structure marching down the board into the end gear. Uh, so what do we do with this this piece? Here and here they take, we take. It's okay. We're targeting this pawn. What if push? We'd have to go back there. Mm, I'm a bit cautious about playing this because we, we are putting the knight on the edge of the board. I think maybe we'll get some activity in the future. So now we're correcting the pawn structure. And this is just a very even game against Nelson. So let's see if he wants to trade. He's been very happy to trade recently. So now our knight's on a pretty nice square, but what are we actually doing? Not sure. So here we can move the bishop in and start to target this weakness, this base of the pawn chain. But first we need to defend our own pawns and also get the king into the center for the end game. You know, ah, hair in my mouth. Uh, so this is a great move, actually. <laughs> actually, this is a really strong move. <laughs> Did not see that. So that hits that, hits the rook. What if we push? Take. Take, take, take. It's not working. We're just losing this pawn with check. So we're going to need to consolidate, guys. So how do we how do we consolidate against Nelson attacking? Well, luckily we've got the queen off the board, so we're not we're not as worried. Um, 
putting the rook on this square looks natural. So we can start to contend this rook, which is going to be opened up. But actually, aren't we just losing? <laughs> it was so instructive, guys, until it wasn't. Let's see if they want to take this. I'll take the rook. They, they're trading now, and actually now trading isn't bad. Um, so we can do this and try and show how, how good an active king can be. Um, here. Uh, maybe here to reroute here and take this pawn. Now I've got to move our king back. Wow, now they're going for a trade. Oh, this is brutal. Nelson. Now we, that, that block looks pretty nice. Um, so let's see what they do about that. So now we can just hit the bishop again. Um, we want to get our king into the game, but we can't. We've actually got to go back here. So if here, then the knight can come out with checks. I think just this, defending this pawn as well. So if push... Hmm. Pushing looks natural. This to line up with a brook, but it's a bit too far, isn't it? This is coming, isn't it? But now we've got our rook attacking the, the base of the pawns. And that's why they always say, get your rook onto the seventh rank or the second rank. In this case, it is the third, but it is effectively the base of the pawns. Now we can take this. I don't see, maybe there's a check, but I don't think we're getting mated here. I think we're all right. Now, do we get aggressive with the king? If takes, they're hitting the bishop. Probably just back. And then maybe we push this pawn. Wow, so the, the forcing a trade of the rooks. So can we win against Nelson with two passed pawns potentially? Let's go after this pawn. And we've got the more active king, guys. So this is how to win against Nelson down material, right? So, we can push this, but I think we've got to favor getting the king active, right? Our king is our biggest asset, and now look at this. We're hitting both the pieces. Guys, told you. Nelson is not good in the end game. Um, I know we're messing around a little bit there, and so now we're just getting our king right up. I was, yeah, I was so busy on the commentary that I lost a piece, but... I hope this is still instructive in how to beat Nelson in the end game down a piece. So if you move the king, we can hit the hit the knight here with the with the bishop. And then we just get a little repetition. We don't want that. So now we can hit the knight again. And then we're just gonna push this pawn, guys, to victory. We'd love them to take. Oh, they didn't have a pawn. But I still think this pawn is winning. And I think he's just going to keep checking us over and over again. <laughs> so let's just push this pawn. Okay, but how are you going to get back now? You know, what, here? Oh my. <laughs> just insufferable, guys. Nelson being Nelson, eh? And now they can't stop the pawn. We've got a queen. And maybe... Well, this is a check, double attack, winning the knight. And then how do we clean this up uh, the, in the easiest manner? There's a check. Now we can push this pawn up the board. So this check targets this pawn maybe, but they defend. So let's cut the king off with the bishop. Um, and then bring the king. Careful not to stalemate as we go into this end game, guys. Uh, so do we want to trade off this pawn? Yeah, we can. We can make this work. Um, so now this is a check, and here we'll win the pawn. Is there anything better? Can we just mate here? If this... No, let's just take the pawn. Mating might have been a bit awkward there. So now maybe the easiest way is just to promote the pawn, but can we get a snazzy checkmate with bishop and queen? Look at this. Um, so check, 
mate. I, I knew that was mate. I knew that was mate. <laughs> so I hope I know I didn't play that the best, but hopefully that demonstrates in how to beat Nelson. Even if you make a couple of mistakes there, just get Nelson into an end game. Uh, yeah, he'll make mistakes in the end game. If you can trade his queen, you'll be a lot happier, guys. So I hope that helps. See you next time. Cheers.